Okay. So we're letting the graph y equals x squared plus four and y equals squared of two x between x equals zero and x equals two. Um, I see the graph of uh, x squared. Looks good. Um, when x is zero, x squared plus four is four. When x is two, x squared plus four is eight, obviously. So we're going to go from here to here, and we know that this thing is a parabolic graph if we understand our basic functions. So the graph is going to look very much like this. Now we could have evaluated at 1 and found that we get 5 and then plotted that point. But if we know the shape of the graph, we can get a perfectly good indication like this. We know that the vertex of the graph is going to be here just because this is simply a vertical shift of the y equals x squared graph four units. Y equals x squared graph has its vertex here. So we go up four units. This is what we get. Um, now y equals the square root of 2x. Um, if x equals 4 what do, or x equals 2, what do we get? 2, right? So we know we're going to go from 0, because when x is 0, naturally we're going to get 0, up to value 2. We know that the y equals x squared graph, or square root of x graph, is inverse to the y equals x squared graph, so you basically have a parabola turned on its side. So the graph looks like this. I didn't start out vertical enough. It's not a great graph, and it really does become all that horizontal, but we still get the idea. It's a concave down graph from here to here. If you want to evaluate it at 1. Everybody knows the square root of 2 is about 1.414, so I got a little too high there. Okay? Now everybody doesn't know that. Everybody used to know that. Okay? Calculators, nobody remembers the most basic things. Uh, and it's never reinforced in the curriculum. Otherwise, we would remember. Okay. So anyhow, there are the two curves, right? So we want to find area beneath each curve. So go ahead and see if you can find the area beneath each curve.